Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Rose, if you're new here. Welcome to the Veggie Fam. So in today's video, I wanted to do something slightly different and I wanted to show you guys what my current food favorites are with the exception of one thing, which is not a food, but anywho. So I'm just gonna jump right into this because I don't want this to be like a super long, dragged out video. The first thing that I'm obsessed with at the moment, uh, I probably should have cleaned the lid before I showed you, but it is this, uh, herbs herdies um, guacamole salsa and medium and i buy this at walmart so i actually found this for the first time ever at the walmart that i went to in florida and i became obsessed with it i have a little gnat flying around i became obsessed with it and then i couldn't find it when i came back here to philly and recently i found it again and i am obsessed i like drizzle this over anything it is however spicy so if you're not a fan of spice maybe don't do this. My next current obsession is this cilantro lime salsa from Aldi's and these are like very, it says a specialty selected, uh, specialty selected, but I feel like Aldi's brings these kind of like sauces or salsas here and there and then they end up kind of like taking them away and they're probably like limited editions or I don't know what's going on, but I've bought these for the past like two months or so um, and I absolutely love this stuff. You can pour it um, into a burrito. I like to put this into my uh, tofu scramble. Um, I also as like a like an egg salsa, salsa eggs or whatever. And um, of course, at night sometimes I am guilty of eating this with some tortilla chips. But this stuff is so so good. Next current obsession is my smoked paprika and I've always loved smoked paprika and I've used both but for some reason lately I've just been loving it so much I've been putting it in my beans to give it a little smokiness I've been putting this um, in my burritos I've been putting this uh, with uh, this morning I made breakfast I made um, some field roast sausage a tofu scramble and some like home fries kind of thing so it's basically like just like potatoes cut up in little uh, cubes and then I put a little tiny bit of oil in the pan put those potatoes in there steam them up a little Himalayan sea salt uh, pink salt and pepper and then afterwards boom a little bit of smoked paprika and it was so so good what else okay so don't judge me but my schedule has been so so booked and so tight and like so jam-packed with so much stuff I'm currently working on the ebook, as you guys know. I've given you guys two different dates, and I still haven't managed to get those dates in. So it is coming. It's coming soon, but I can't give you a date because it's a lot of work, and I'm trying to make it perfect. You know, once it's ready, you guys will know. So I've been eating uh, instant brown rice all the time. Actually, I've never been a huge fan of making my own brown rice because it just never comes out right. I don't know why. It doesn't come out right whenever I buy the instant stuff. It always, always, you never fail me. You never fail me. Also, extra firm tofu. I've never thought that I would be saying that tofu is one of my obsessions or one of my favorite things because, I mean, for real, I used to hate tofu. I hated the texture of it. Like, anything tofu was just like, ew. But I learned how to make it differently and just like the right way, I guess. And now I absolutely love it. And I eat this pretty much every morning that I don't go to the gym. So that's like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will have tofu for, for breakfast as a tofu scramble. Or I will do like actually the barbecue uh, tofu strips. I'll link them down below. So good. So easy to make. Another of my favorites is the white popcorn. As you can see, it's almost empty, but I absolutely love white popcorn. I prefer white popcorn over the yellow stuff because the little kernels are so thin and when you eat them, you don't get like those huge kernels like stuck between your teeth that you're like freaking out trying to get out, but it doesn't come out. Why? But anyways, these work perfectly. I just put them either on the stove um, or I will cook them um, in a little like uh, a little paper bag um, in the microwave as if you were to cook any regular uh, batch of popcorn, like a store-bought baggy popcorn. So this stuff, yes. And these are just things that have been on my um, on my shopping list for the past like two months consistently. And 
of course, my field roll sausage, which I am so obsessed with. You guys have no idea how much I love this stuff. Not just any field roll sausage, but the applewood, what is it called? Apple, smoked applewood sage. This stuff is awesome. You guys have to try it out. You're gonna love it. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. I used to love the Chipotle, but ever since I discovered this one, I was a little skeptical to try it. But when I did, let me tell you, never going back. Next is pink Himalayan salt. And this is so funny to me because when I first started buying this, the kids were like, wait, is this made from uh, rock lamp salt or salt rock lamps? And because we have a bunch of like salt rocks, uh, salt rock lamps around the house. So, uh, but yeah, it, it is, right? Isn't it made from the same thing? Either way, it's really good. I think it definitely tastes different, but I wouldn't add this to like white rice if I'm making white rice because it's a waste. I kind of just like it whenever I can add it to things that I know I will be able to either taste it or really like get the benefits from the minerals and all that good stuff. So, did I mention lentils? Lentils. I've been prepping lentils. It doesn't have to be Goya. It can be any brand. I buy any brand. Uh, but I've been prepping lentils uh, for a while now longer than two months for a few months now i've been prepping meals uh or not necessarily prepping meals but prepping a couple ingredients on sundays to make my life easier during the week um, because i have to eat a lot in order to keep my weight up because i lose weight like it is nobody's business next is my trusty rusty no it's not rusty but it's my trusty peanut butter which I've been obsessed with since I was a little tiny itty bitty little lady and I still am obsessed with it to this day I will go through um, don't judge me but uh, a jar of peanut butter in uh, two days maybe less <laughs> and I will actually drink that I know that sounds so weird but I drink that uh, whenever I don't have enough food or not have enough food but whenever I don't intake enough food and I'm just kind of like running around and don't eat enough I will have like a soy milk and peanut butter shake um, as a protein shake also I will throw in some oats and oats is another thing on the list as well as the soy because I can't not buy soy um, also the uh, oats I make quick oats with peanut butter you guessed it surprise surprise right and I will make that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which are the days that I go to the gym. So I like to go with some nice amount of carbs and to, you know, to give me energy to lift heavy and do the thing. Second to last, not least, <laughs> what? is unsweetened applesauce. I love applesauce because sometimes like at the end of the day, like I said, I track my calories, track my macros, all that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, if I am like, you know, a little under and I'm like, oh, I need just this, these couple calories or whatever, I'll go in and have like a cup of applesauce and it feels like a little treat because it's nice and sweet and yummy. And, um, and I know I'm having something healthy. And last, but definitely not least, is aloe. I like to buy fresh aloe, like a nice leaf of aloe. That looks so weird. Look at that. So jiggly. I like to buy aloe because um, it's good for your skin and I will uh, use this as a face mask. Um, if you guys have seen like my face or skincare routine, which has changed drastically so if you guys would like to see an update on that let me know i would throw that in as an extra weekly video um and uh, so yeah i'll use this on my skin um i'll use this on my hands elbows knees shoulders knees and toes no but i use it for like the most um you know ashy uh spots on your body or driest i should say spots in your body and of course on my face and yes so that is that i hope you guys enjoyed this favorites type of video um yeah if you like that give it a thumbs up let me know if you would like to see any other stuff like this and i will talk to you guys very soon thanks again for watching bye